Hey all, welcome to Mirror Pip. In today's class, we are going to learn how to automate your trades directly from TradingView. Now, there are two ways in which you can automate your trades from TradingView. One is by writing a certain condition on chart which does not involve even a single line of code. It is a no code structure. The other method is automating your trades using fine script. This involves coding and also will help you automate your trades for months together. In today's class, in the first half, we are going to discuss how to automate any conditional alert data. And in the second half, we are going to automate a fine script from scratch. So let's start. To begin with, we will go to MirrorPip. If you don't have an account in MirrorPip already, please go to trade.mirrorpip.com. Click on sign up, enter your details and sign up. It's that simple. Once you sign up, you can always connect your broker. There's a detailed video tutorial on how to connect your broker on this channel as well. Once your account is connected, you can create a watch list. In watch list, you can mention all the symbols in which you wish to trade into. For example, on my screen, you can see multiple symbols. I've also created a separate watch list of options, which is exclusively for options trading. Now, to automate my trades, either in watch list one or in any watch list that I create, all I have to do is go to profile, click on trading view automation bot, and here you will see the details of your trading view automation. In this, you can see there is a webhook URL that helps you connect trading view with MirrorPip. There's a trading view unique code which you can add into Pine script. This unique identifier helps us identify your user ID and place orders in your crypto exchange or broker. Apart from that, we've also given a trading view message used for Pine scripting and a JSON used for conditional alert data. Now that we have all these details, let's go to trading view. Now this is my trading view account. You can see I have purchased a premium subscription of TradingView. If you do not have a paid version of TradingView, you will not be able to automate your trades. Please note, paid version of TradingView is mandatory. You can purchase any paid subscription. For example, on TradingView, you have Essential, Plus, Premium and Ultimate Plan. The automation will work on all the four plans. If you are relatively new to the world of crypto trading and are just exploring, you can start with as low as essential plan or if you're a professional, you can go with plus or premium plan. In my case, I'm using premium plan. Now, if you want to get one month of TradingView subscription absolutely free, I'm giving a link in the description. If you click on this link, and sign up on TradingView from scratch, you will get one month access to TradingView absolutely free. Let's go to Supercharts. On Supercharts, you can add any symbol of your choice. For example, I will add BTCUSD. Now, if I want to automate my trades in BTCUSD, I have to open that particular chart and I can automate my trades using a trend line, or an indicator or a pine script. To begin with, I'll take a trend line and maybe plot a trend line like this. Now this is a five minutes chart. And if my condition is such that whenever trend line breaks below this, I would like to short Bitcoin. You can absolutely automate this logic. To automate, all you have to do is just click on this trend line, click on add alert and trading view will show, show you this pop-up. In this pop-up message, you have symbol, condition, crossing, trend line, and all the other criteria. Now, one thing that you will notice is this BTC USD symbol is actually written as BTC USD U2025. That means trading view will send me a signal on this particular symbol. Now, this symbol should be also available in my mirror pick platform. So if I go to watch list, in my watch list, whenever I'll try to add a symbol, there will be two fields, one terminal symbol, the other chart symbol. Terminal symbol represents the name in my exchange. 
For example, in today's video, I am using Delta Exchange and the terminal symbol will be as per Delta. For example, BTC USD is written as BTC USD in Delta. Chart symbol represents the symbol name that we would like to map to terminal symbol. In other words, chart symbol is the symbol name that is incoming via trading view. Now, as you can see here, it's mentioned as BTC USD U2025. So I can either copy this symbol as it is and paste it here. And in this way, I can connect this trading view symbol or map this trading view symbol to BTC USD or other method would be I can find all those contracts where BTC USD is mentioned as BTC USD itself. For example, I can choose the source as Binance. In this case, BTC USD is written as BTC USD itself. Now, if I want to map it as it is, I can remove the extra suffix and come back to trading view. Now here, I can again plot a trend line as per my logic and again I can click on an alert and this time in the symbol you will notice it is mentioned as only BTC USD. So it's very important that whatever symbol that you see here should be exactly same as you write in the chart symbol. Now when the signals are incoming, I can even decide entry type, exit type. I can place limit, market, SLL, best task, best bid or average of best task, best bid orders. There is a detailed video tutorial on what exactly these orders means as well. You can check out that tutorial as well on the channel. Now going ahead, I can even choose quantity. To begin with, I'll start with let us say one quantity. I can even place stop loss and target for this particular order. Let's say in this case, I would not like to place any stop loss or target and I can simply click on save. The moment I click on save, it already says this symbol is already existing in my watch list. So you can see here BTC USD is already in my watch list. Now to connect trading view to mirror pip, all I have to do is write the JSON and pass the right webhook. Now that the condition is written here, I will not make any changes in these conditions. Simply click on message. In the message, I can write alert name as anything like let us say temp1. In the message, I have to paste JSON. To paste the JSON, I'll go to trading view automation board, copy conditional alert data, come back to trading view and paste it here. You'll see here this conditional alert data also has my unique identifier code and everything else. If I would like to buy as per this trend line, I can keep the order type as buy as it is. If I would like to short, in that case, I have to mention here as a short. So this order type is very important before creating an alert. Everything else can also be adjusted. For example, you can decide the quantity, you can decide the take profit, SL value as well. Please note, if you already have take profit, SL and quantity defined in mirror pip watch list, it will override the incoming value coming from trading view. If the fields like target and SL are zero or blank, then the values added in trading view will be true. In our case, quantity in trading view is 100, but quantity in mirror pip is one. So only one lot of BTC will be executed and not 100 lots. Now, again, let's come back here and go to notification. In the notification, we are supposed to add a webhook URL. To add webhook URL, I will enable this. If you are using trading view for the first time and if you are coming to this webhook URL page, it will ask you to enable two-factor authentication. To enable 2FA on trading view, you have to click on this blue two-factor authentication link. It will redirect you to a page and on this page, you are supposed to go to settings and billings, then go to account settings in account setting enable 2FA it will give me a verification code on my email let me add the verification code that I receive on my email once I add the code I will be able to see this scanner I have to scan this in my Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator app 
In my case, I am using Google Authenticator on my iPhone. I'll go to Google Authenticator app. Inside app, at the bottom right, I see a plus button. I'll click on plus button. I will have two options, enter a setup key or scan a QR code. Since a QR code is already visible on my screen, I'll click on scan a QR code in my mobile. Once I scan, the, scan this QR code, I will be getting a six digit OTP on my authenticator. Now this six digit OTP is also called as TOTP that is time based OTP keeps changing every 30 seconds. So I will paste the latest OTP that is reflecting in my Google Authenticator app and click on enable. Once I do it, that's it. Now my 2FA is enabled. Back to the chart. I'll have to repeat the entire drill. Again, I'll have to click on the alert, BTC crossing trend line. In the message, I will have to paste the JSON again from TradingView Automation Bot. So this is only once since I, I did not enable the 2FA. Now that my 2FA is enabled, the webhook URL will be automatically triggered. I can name this as temp123. In the notification, this time when I click on webhook URL, it will give me a field. In this field, I will add my trading view webhook URL. Copy this, come back here and paste it here and click on create. The moment I click on create, you can see temp123 alert is active. Now, the moment the BTC price will go below this trend line. This will be stopped and it will trigger an order via mirror pip into my Delta account. Now, as you can see, I have seven open position, including that of BTC. I have minus 305 BTC short already. So let's actually stimulate the trade by playing around with this trend line. I'll just change this trend line and make it go closer to the existing price so that it can be triggered. You can see it's triggered. If I come to Delta, you can see the order is placed. It was a buy order and instead of minus 305, it became minus 304. Similarly, to automate my trade in TradingView using a Pine script, I can use a Pine script. This is my Pine editor. I have written a code and the same JSON I have mentioned here in buy data, sell data, short data and cover data. If you would want free PineScript source code as a template for reference, you can DM us on our WhatsApp. We'll be happy to help you with the source code of the strategy. Now, if I click on add to chart, this strategy will be added to the chart. To stimulate the trades, I can go to one second chart. So this way on one second chart, there will be too many buy and sell signal that will be coming instantly. Please note this time frame is never recommended. I'm using it to show you how to automate trades from trading view to Delta. Now in this pine, I have to mention my unique identifier code from mirror pip and copy it from here, come back here and paste it. I'm using Delta. So the exchange is Delta. Then I'll click on OK. I'll keep everything else as it is. Right click, click on add alert, select the strategy, click on message and here I need not place the entire JSON because it is already a part of the Pine script. I just have to copy this one line, my trading view message. Just copy it, alert name can be anything and in the notification, the webhook URL is already there. I can see that the trades have come. Similarly, there is one more trade that has come just now and this is also executed in our trading view account. If I see the order history, the latest order is here. So this way, the trades are getting triggered from trading view directly into our Delta exchange or any account of your choice using MirrorPay. See you all in the next class.